I'm Molly Superthorpe. Welcome to my channel where I offer bite-sized tutorials and demonstrations in calligraphy and hand lettering and upload a brand new video every Friday. Last week I released a new product for designers and artists. It's my Animal Flourishes Vector and Procreate Brushes Pack. This is a collection of 40 calligraphic illustrations that come as both premium vectors and a complete set of Procreate stamp brushes. In the description below, you can find a link to my website where you can learn more and purchase this pack. But in today's demonstration, I'm gonna show you how I personally like to use these illustrations by incorporating them into a piece of Procreate artwork. You will see how I use these brush stamps in a flourished border design. The applications for these illustrations are endless, but I can imagine them being used in branding, like for unique logos, in stationery or wedding invitations or greeting card designs, or even incorporated into other art and craft projects like scrapbooking. If you're one of my subscribers, you'll know that last week I also released a free download based on two of the illustrations from this pack. If you wanna gain access to these freebies and a bunch more, you can just click the link below to Molly's Lettering Toolkit. I start by scrolling through the Procreate brush pack that has all 40 illustrations and select the particular illustration that I wanna start with in my design. The illustration size is adjusted by the size of the brush, so I go back and forth a few times just to see what size I want this illustration to be. I then go about selecting a couple other illustrative brushes that I want to incorporate into the border, and then adjusting their orientation, their slant, and their placement. In a few minutes, I'm going to switch over to symmetry drawing. So you're gonna see that I'll be able to duplicate these across in a sort of mirrored effect to the other side of the border. That's why initially I'm only designing them on the left side so that I can just mirror them later quite easily. With my calligraphy flourishing brush, which I've linked below, and a new color, I'm going to create a sketch of a really flourished, floral, leafy pattern to fill in the gaps in between these illustrations. Again, I'm just making it on the left side because I'm gonna go over it again in just a little bit so that it mirrors um, across and around the canvas. Then I'm going into my settings on my canvas and I'm turning on drawing guide and then going to edit drawing guide so I can turn on symmetry. In the symmetry options, I wanna make sure that it's set to vertical and that my assisted drawing is turned on. And when it's turned on, you'll see that the layer in your layers palette has the word assisted right underneath it. And that is what enables it to mirror around your canvas when you're drawing. If it doesn't say assisted, then you'll just be drawing without the mirror effect. Now I'm able to go over that leafy border sketch and with assisted drawing on, it mirrors around the canvas so I only have to draw it this one time. I have actually a lot of videos that incorporate the symmetry drawing guides and I've linked a lot of them below. It's one of my absolute favorite tools for um, making really flourished, beautiful, unique designs. To add some depth and more visual interest to the design, I'm going in with my monoline brush, also linked below, to create just these little white dots at the edge of the different leafy fronds. I'm filling in some of the leaves with the bold calligraphy that I'm about to do in the middle of the canvas. I feel like adding these filled in parts and these dots really complement the calligraphy a little bit better than just unfilled line drawings. I'm now using my absolute favorite method for filling in or recoloring any layers of artwork in Procreate. This is a non-destructive method where you create a blank layer on top of your art layer. You tap the layer once and you click fill layer with your new color. Then you tap it again and you click clipping mask. And this means that the color that you just filled into your blank layer only fills in the art that is in the clip layer below it. And now I'm going actually over to my calligraphy composition maker brush pack, also linked below. 
This is a brush that I created that draws dotted lines. Now it's certainly not mandatory to use this brush. If you're trying to create dotted lines, you can just do it one dot after another using like a mono line brush, but I find it a lot faster to be able to draw lines, especially with the mirrored effect using this particular brush. So I'm creating little borders throughout my artwork so that it can really complement those little white dots that I put around the leafy fronds. This also creates the frame that I'm gonna to use to put my calligraphy in. Continuing using the dotted line maker brush, I'm drawing myself some borders around the artwork. I still have drawing assist turned on and that's why they're mirroring around the whole border. Then I'm selecting my artwork and making sure that uniform and snapping are turned on and then centering the artwork slightly, shrinking it and centering it so that the border will have some breathing room. I wanna draw myself some really rough guides here in the middle of the screen to sketch out my calligraphy with. So I've gone back into my calligraphy composition maker brush pack and selected a contrasting color. Then on a new blank layer, I've just drawn in some, you know, really basic lettering guides with baselines and a slant. This is my modern 65 degree brush. On a blank layer above that, using a pencil brush, I'm just gonna quickly sketch in my calligraphy and I'll now adjust those guides a little bit further because I want my calligraphy to have a slanted baseline rather than horizontal. So um, I'm just using my selection tool in the transform to transform the grid that I drew. With my sketched calligraphy done, I want to adjust it a little bit further so that it fits in this frame space even a little bit better. So I'm going to my selection tool and the warp setting, and I'm pushing and pulling that calligraphy lettering so that it fits the frame much better. Then I'm back to my calligraphy flourishing brush, the same one that I used to make the leafy border, and I'm going over my calligraphy in a much more polished way. As a finishing touch, I'm recoloring the calligraphy in a contrasting color. And now I am ready to export this to my computer or to share online, to add to a product, to turn into a greeting card, whatever I would like to do with it. Please be sure to check out the other symmetry calligraphy videos that I have linked below and the brush packs that I use to create this design. Thank you for following along. As always, tag me in your work on Instagram so that I can see what you create from my tutorials, free downloads, books, and products. <music>